Hello, my romance club lovers! Today is a special day for me and for my channel. It has been one year since I started to create videos about romance club. I can't even believe it. In honor of this anniversary, you ask me question at my Instagram. The link is always in the description. And I'm really happy to see your feedback. Thank you for interesting comments. This video will be about me, about my personality, about my way on YouTube and of course about my connection with the Romance Club. I'm really glad you are here with me. So let's go. From what time are you playing Romance Club? Which genre is your favorite? I started playing Romance Club in autumn of 2019, I guess. I was advised to play it by a friend of mine and the first story was Shadows of Sandfall. It was scary, I should admit, so I began to play other stories too. I paid no attention on diamond choices, I had no idea how it works and so on, but in general I like it. That time seduced by the rhythm story has just begun, and when after some stories I opened it, I was so pleasantly surprised. So I can say that I like many genres and every story has an impact on me. But maybe you can guess my favorite genre by the three most liked stories. They are Legend of the Willow, Shadows of Saint Four, and Love from Outer Space. Yeah, clearly I have no certain beloved one. Do you do all your YouTube work on your own, or do you have a team like editor, etc? Well, speaking about my YouTube channel, I think there is no secret that I'm from Russia, and of course I was playing the Russian version of the game and was situated on Russian fandom. I know one girl who has her own channel about Roman's Club and she motivated me to create my channel. You know, there were several reasons I decided to make it. Firstly, I had a try to have a channel earlier, so I had an important experience in YouTube cuisine. Then I was passionate about Roman's Club and the possibility to earn money from my videos on YouTube. No need to surprise by this fact, money rules the motivation. But if you are interested in it, I should say that I haven't earned anything till now as I have to have 1000 subs and after it I should pass through many points of verification and only if everything is fine I will be able to earn money from my channel. But I got distracted, straight to the point. So I was capable to make videos, I had to wish to take money from it and what's more I was curious in what is going on in English speaking fandom. And I was so surprised seeing a lack of information for the players. Russian fandom had many options of interacting, but English no. And I wanted to share with you everything that you hadn't. That time Dracula Love Story was announced, and I created a video about it. And many players who had watched it thought I was kinda Romance Club team who are responsible for that. It was funny to explain that I'm just ordinary player. Really funny for me. And answering the question, no, I have nothing similar. I'm all alone with the process and I need no help for now. It is not so hard actually, and everyone could try it. The main thing is to have desire and inspiration. And maybe good devices, also important. Thank you for all the efforts and guides you make for us on YouTube despite your busy schedule. Thank you for supporting me, it really motivates me, I'm glad I have so kind subs and I even call it my YouTube family, so it is pleasure for me to make videos for you. And now let's speak about me a little bit, as I have some question about it as well. How old are you turning this year? Can I ask what's your age, if you don't mind? I don't mind, and currently I'm 23, but I will be 24 this September. And yes, I find this fact impossible, as somewhere inside I feel that I'm no more than 16. Or 17? It's weird. And how old are you? If you don't mind, you can say some words about yourself in the comments as well. For example, your country, your name, age or even hobby. It's time to know my family better. Or you even can tell me what's your favorite ice cream flavor also. <laughs> hey Helen, big fan, so my question is what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Mine, for example, is chocolate one. The best in the world for me. The next one is pistachio and then the vanilla one. Did you have boyfriend? Or you married? Yes, I have boyfriend and not married yet. The next question is rather provocative. You see, when I just started to create videos, I was surely embarrassed to show up my face. But now I'm not. Hello, my romance club lovers. I definitely want to make videos in such a way on a regular basis. But unfortunately, I have no proper devices for it. So let's wait a little bit for me 
to buy everything I need for it and we will see each other many many times. I love you guys, thank you for your support one more time. Tell me about your career choices. Oh, it's a long story, but if I cut it short, I had a part-time job as a shop assistant for four years during my university study. I have a bachelor degree and I can be a teacher of English and German. The last year I worked as a teacher of foreign languages. But I realized teaching is not for me. It's not my cup of tea. Also, children liked me, but it's the same for another video, I think. After the university, I applied for au pair program in Germany, and here I am. Already four months have passed for me being in another country. What job do you do? I'm asking since you are not a full-time YouTuber. I'm not a full-time YouTuber because of this fact. I'm in Germany, in a host family, with four children under my responsibility sometimes. I'm here to learn the language, to see the culture and to help with children. If you haven't heard about this program, but you want to visit another country, read some articles about au pair program. Maybe it will be interesting for someone. Do you live alone or with someone like roommates or your family? So now I live alone in my room, but with the host family. But earlier I lived in the dormitory for students, so I had two roommates. But guys, no matter how good roommates are, it's better to live alone, believe me. It's great to know you found the family which you wanted. Be happy forever, hope you're well there. Thank you, thank you so much. You know it well. I'm really happy to realize that I have so good host family. I'm really lucky with it. Maybe it's a little bit annoying of me speaking about me only, so let's discuss my taste about Romance Club and then return to me one more time. I really missed you and your video after this update, but, you're, but I understand that you are busy and your mood was ruined. Since you said that you were really disappointed with Romance Club, are you planning to stop playing Romance Club? I hope not. Oh, the March update was a really mess for me. I didn't know that I could be so disappointed in a game. But no, I won't give up making videos, guys. There are a lot of other games except Romance Club, so I begin to concentrate not only on it. And it takes me a little bit of relax. So I'm here for you, don't lose me, I will try not to escape for such a long period anymore. In what way Romance Club has disappointed you? Not being mean, just curious. Firstly, the quality of stories, if in general. The final of Heaven's Secret in particular. You can watch a video about it if you are interested in details. Another point, Romance Club being in the contact with players. It's awful. I texted them so many times but have no replies. Or even explanation connected to technical issues. It's also disappointed. Glitches and bugs in the story that Romance Club will not fix. It's Eddie's bug in Heaven's Secret, main character's bug in Queen in 30 Days, and many, 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 many others. Why just not to fix it? Next, the quality of arts as well. I understand that there are a lot of artists who are working on their stories, but why one story contains so different styles of cutscenes? I don't understand it. So the list will continue for eternity. Maybe I will make a separate video about it sometimes. If you get a chance to fix any story ending, which one will it be? <laughs> Tricky question. I find the final of the Queen in 30 days pretty dumb because of the pregnancy. I want to change the dude by the recent final, but only in the way of the competition. I would rather make the variant where they won't take the first place. They are old enough to conquer the young generation. Wave Patrol is needed one more season, and it's a pity that the story was so unpopular that they have to give up on the season 2. But the most cringe final has Heaven's Secret, so I will definitely fix it. But not only the final. But maybe all the story from the season 2, it turned out so disgusting to my mind. If you can choose only one character from Romance Club to spend your life with, who's he or she? Wow, rather interesting question to think about. Uh, Dina, Max and Brandon came to my mind at once. But I think I choose Brandon. Rich guy with his own business, making everything for me being happy. Isn't it wonderful? And it is interesting to know your preferences, guys. Leave your comments about it as well. Since you know both Russian and English, 
What language do you play your romance club stories in? Mostly Russian. But I tried to play in English for making screenshots at once and for my English improvement. But you see, English in romance club are so bad that sometimes I get cringed seeing the translations. But what's the most interesting about English translation? I can't read Legend of the Willow in English. It's awful. And guys, I can understand why many English-speaking players could not to like this story. Because of the language Dylan as well. In Russian there is such good style of writing that I like every phrase of the story. Kazu has a certain way of speaking and it is so different from the other characters that you can feel it only by one his phrase. But it is lost in translation. Every other story I could read both English and Russian. What are your hobbies? What do you usually do in your free time? What's your daily routine like? Another YouTube channel is my hobby. I really like it and I see feedback and it makes me to feel good. I also like knitting and it was my hobby during the school years. Now I can knit only if I have strong desire of it. Reading books are my passion as well. And I'm so happy I can do it on three languages now. So I'm trying to do it often, but unfortunately I haven't much time for it. I used to dance earlier. Speaking about my free time, I think everyone has such a mood of doing nothing, just crawling the apps and so on. So yes, I waste much time on it. But I'm trying to avoid it and pay attention to my other hobbies. Do you play any instrument? And if yes, then which one? Unfortunately not. I have no talent for it. And realizing how difficult it is to learn playing, I just said thank you for my parents that they didn't force me to do it. But I find people who are able to play music very lucky. I have a friend of mine who plays the piano and I'm ready to listen to her play for eternity. It is fascinating. What animes have you watched? And which is your most favorite apart from Attack on Titan, of course. I watched only two anime. Death Note and Attack on Titans. I think it's enough for me. They are masterpieces for me and I can't destroy the memories that they had left in my heart. So they are the best for me and I don't even know if I'm ready to watch another anime. Maybe it is strange, but it is the way I feel. Who else watched this anime? Who is your favorite character? Guys, your questions are up. Thank you for every question you've left and thank you for your congratulations. I received so many from you and it warms my heart. Thank you for 1000 subs. And now it's time to say goodbye. Thanks for watching till now. You are the best of my subs.